Hey, what's up you guys? It's the Curious Owl here, and I have another book review for you guys. And this is a book that was on my iPad through my Kindle app, and it is the first book in the Divergent series, Divergent by Veronica Roth, which I hope you guys can see. It looks like you can see most of it. Um, but yeah, so... Basically, I was going to, what I was going to do was I was going to read the book and then watch the movie to do a movie a book to movie comparison with the book review, but I thought, you know, one that's going to kind of take a lot longer than I want to do, and number 2, it is currently like uh 2:22 in the morning um right now, so it's not a good time to watch the movie. And um, I wanted to just really get this book review done so I could just go right to bed. Um, but I'm still kind of like awake because this is like normally when I'm still up. Anyway, but um, so I really enjoyed this book. Honestly, I really enjoyed Veronica Roth's writing. Um, this is another dystopian novel. I've been kind of going on a dystopian novel train because there's a lot of dystopian series that I've been wanting to get into for a long time. Divergent is one of those. I will be honest, I watched the movie first. When it first came out, I went out with, a, with several friends of mine who had read the books and um, they said that it followed, the movie followed the books pretty well. There were some things that were different which actually I caught. It's been a long time since I've seen the movie, but there were some things in the book that I remember were very, very different than how the book was, um, than how the movie was. Which, I mean, it's, it wasn't, I don't think it was that big of a deal. It was definitely much more of a Hollywood kind of, like, um, influence in it than it was the book in some aspects. Like, there were, I don't want, for anyone that has not read the book, I'm not gonna spoil anything for what happens. I'm just gonna say the movie is not 100% identical to the book. But anyway, um, yeah, I really enjoyed her writing. I really liked how, I feel like a lot of just modern dystopian novelists have a style, have a specific style of writing. I don't know if it's that, if that's just how it comes out to them, or if it's a certain kind of, like, structure or pattern they have to follow. It's really strange. I don't know. Like, it's all, it all seems so similar. Um, I feel like that like it's it seems similar but it's also not because I feel like Veronica Roth has her own voice whereas Marie Lou of the legend that wrote the legend series has a very different voice than um than that but they they're very similar structures. Um Divergent I always thought was an interesting series because I mean, the whole thing is with the factions. Like, I think this is a lot more of a far-fetched scenario of a dystopian society. I really don't think our society would ever get to this point. But, you know, anything is really possible at this point. I mean, we could, like, it could, I don't even want to imagine how our society would be if it got to this point. I really don't want to think about that because I kind of hate our society at this point. But that's going to be, that'll be a rant video hopefully sometime soon. I don't know if you guys want to watch that, let me know. Um, but I really, I really enjoy the character of Triss much more than I think I, I did in the movie. I think I understood her a lot more reading this and I actually related to her in a lot of ways. I feel like personally I can't, like I understand now what being divergent is. It's not being, like it's having a mindset that is not like the others, that can basically be everything. You can be selfless, you can be brave, you can be smart, you can be honest, you can be, um, like, nurturing, like Amity. It's so crazy. Like, I feel like anyone that reads this understands, um, Triss and can't really say that they're any particular one of these kind of factions because everyone, I think, is in some sense a divergent. It's just, it's not possible for someone to just be completely one aspect. You can't be part of just one faction. You have to be some form of a divergent. Whether that means like you're maybe a little bit more honest, but you're still really brave kind of thing. Like, I, it's, it, this book really kind of makes you think about yourself. It really makes you question about who you are as a person because you relate to yourself to how Triss is, to how Tobias is, or for however you want to call him. I prefer Tobias, to be honest. But, um, and then, like, comparing yourself to people like Al, who is this insecure character that you want to, like, make feel better. 
yeah, like I said, this book really does make you think about who you are as a person, where you where you fit in. You basically have to, like, this book made me think inside myself more. I really took a step back and I was like, wow, like, who really am I? Am I really as honest as I think I am? Am I really as selfless as I think I am? Or... Like, I don't even know. Like, just it really put things in perspective for me to think about who I am as a person and how I, how I, like, show that to people. It's really strange because, like, one of the concepts that they have in this book is, you know, like, faction before blood. Your faction that you ascribe to is more important to you than your family, which I think is complete bogus. Because those aren't your real family. Those aren't the people that raised you, that taught you the things that they were taught when they were children. They aren't the people that are going to love and nurture you like you should throughout your life. This is this is a very much a coming of age kind of story because they go through this choosing ceremony to put themselves in a new faction or stay with their faction. Which, it's it saddens me that, like they have to do this but it, it kind of in a sense is like graduation for high schoolers they have to choose their path from that point and go off in that direction now we have much more of a liberty of what we want to do and we have much more of a liberty of figuring out okay do we really want to do this and like deciding like not to go in this direction later on but in this society once you choose where you want to be that's it you don't get to go back, otherwise you're factionless. You are pretty much like on the outskirts of town, you're in poverty, you're starving, you have no money, you know nobody. And it's it's really just, I feel like this, is like again, I think this society is way more far-fetched than any other dystopian novel I've read, but I think still that it really, it if anything, it puts much more of a introspective like theme into it. It really makes you kind of have to think about who you are as a person and like what you want to like what you want in society and what you want to put out into society. There are so many like people that are wanting change but they're not willing to do the work for it. When people like Tris and Tobias, they want change. They don't want this like society that they're in to be this way. They want something changed. And so they're going to do they're going to force like people to well not force but they're going to make the change happen themselves by putting in the work to do it and I'm saying that vaguely because I don't want to spoil anything for people who have not read the books which honestly if you haven't want read them or watched the movies at this point what are you doing with your life like seriously like I don't understand I'm a little hesitant to read Insurgent and Allegiant because I have heard so many bad things about how Allegiant was. I'm I'm kind of one of those people though where I have to read it myself in order to get an idea of what people are saying. So I'm still going to read it, but it's going to be a long time before I get to it. So bear with me <laughs> because I have several other books I have to read. Um, it's going to take me a long time to finish a lot of these series. If I can just get like the first book out of the way, that's my biggest goal. If I can get back to it, that's great. If not, okay. That, not that big deal for me. But anyway, so I guess just to quickly sum up what I said, I really enjoyed the writing of this book. It was really, really relatable. The characters were very relatable to me because they actually symbolized a lot of things that um, relate to real life. And the introspective kind of, like, thing that was going on through that of this entire novel is really fascinating because you really have to take a step back and think about who you are as a person. You really have to question who you are. Are you are you as brave as you say you are? Are you as honest as you say you are? Are do you really think as like differently as you think you do or are you more kind of single-minded kind of thing? But, so that's basically my book review for Divergent. Um, I kind of went on a, on a rant, which I'm sorry about, but this book, it's, I really enjoyed it. I really thought it was good. I think I would give it, like, a, like, pretty much an, I 
think a 10 out of 10 to be honest because it was about like it was actually a lot better than I expected it to be and I really I just really enjoyed tr the character of Triss like she was so relatable she was so, like for me especially especially when she talks about how she views herself because there's a lot of things about that she talks about when she views like she talks about herself where she doesn't think she's um she doesn't really know who she is she doesn't really like think a lot about herself um doesn't really concern herself with how she is or anything because she kind of she was grew up selfless but then they go into kind of like more like looks based and everything where she didn't feel like she was very pretty didn't feel like she was really much in the looks department which I can relate to I mean I grew up not really liking how I looked but I kind of grew to just like it I mean it's and I'm not saying that to get pity or anything I'm just saying that like, that's how I relate to her because I understand what that's like to grow up not really thinking that you're really anything that you're just kind of average um but, I mean, I, I I grew up to just kind of being like, you know what, that's okay. Like, being average is perfectly fine. And, you know, there are some days where I think I look better than others. And, like, who doesn't? I mean, there's days where I look worse. Um, so, it's just, I really related to the character of Triss. And I thought she was an amazing character. Veronica Roth really did a great job of writing this novel. And I'm excited to see how... I'm excited and nervous to see how Insurgent and Allegiant will be since I've heard so many bad things about them. And I really want to read 4 also. Um, I heard that was really, really good as far as like developing the character of 4 or Tobias, however you want to call him. Um, but yeah, so the next book that I will be reading, I believe is The Hunger Games? Yes. I will be reading the, very, the Hunger Games, the very first book. Um, I'm going to admit I'm a little nervous about that one because... I didn't particularly care for the movies, like, I liked them, I thought they were good, but I didn't really, like, 100% like, oh my god, I love them, like, I loved, um, other movies, like, I, I mean, I didn't even really 100% love Divergent, but now, like, that I've read the book, I kind of like the movie a little more, because they really did follow a lot of what the book had, there were some things that were very different, but it was not, like, over the top it was kind of, well it was over the top but I mean like it wasn't like too far-fetched from how the book would be um how the, how it would have played out in the book but yeah so I'm a little nervous to read the Hunger Games to be honest but I'm gonna give it a whirl I'm gonna see how it is hopefully it will give me a good feeling to want to read the next couple of books in the series but yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. If you guys liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, subscribe down below and let me know also what other books do you guys want me to read. Tell me in the comments below what else you want me to read. I've got a lot of books lined up that you guys might be interested in in the future. Um, but I would, I really would like to know um, what your guys' opinions are. Like, if you guys want me to keep reading more dystopian novels um, in the future. I have a couple more lined up. I, ha I just got the Maze Runner for Easter. It's gonna take me a long time to get to that one though, but I do have that in my stack of books. So yeah, so let me, let me know and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys.